Do we know everything about the moon? After all these years and successful missions, you would guess yes. But it appears that our space neighbor does have some surprises in store for us. Who would have thought our moon has a secret light source on its surface? Are aliens building a base there and sending us signals? Is our moon able to generate its own light? Or is there something even more bizarre happening up there? Stay until the end of the video to find out the secret hiding behind the flashing moonlights. There has been no trace of life on the moon, even though it is around 4.4 billion years old. But that does not mean that the moon is not active. Astronomers have been detecting strange flashing lights on its surface for over two centuries. This bizarre phenomenon was named TLP, or Transitory Lunar Phenomena. In 1958, scientists spotted the strange flash on the moon for the first time. These flashings come in a variety of colors, including red, blue, orange, violet, and various tints, according to observers. TLPs normally last a second or two before dissipating, but there is evidence of long-term light bursts. Some of them have been discovered to last for around a few minutes to two hours. Many observers are interested in more than just the length of these light flashes. Another intriguing feature is their size. The diameter of various TLPs may range from several miles to hundreds of miles long. This fact is highly dependent on the mystery surrounding the origins of these optical flashes, which are anything but rare. Areas of the moon have been lighting up numerous times a week, according to scientists. Light bursts that can be pink or red in color with a sparkling or flowing look that can linger for hours. There have been a number of theories as to what generates the flashes, ranging from meteorites striking the moon's surface to solar wind colliding with moon dust to the moon generating gases that reflect sunlight. Lightning flashes will appear for a brief moment, then fade as quickly as they appeared. For at least 100 years, humans have claimed to have seen this and contemporary astronomers have documented the phenomena since the second half of the 20th century. Although we have researched our solar system and explored interstellar travel, it appears that we have ignored a lot of information about our nearest space neighbor. Scientists are focusing on finding the origins of an unusual light seen by Earth observatories. About 3,000 TLP reports were discovered in the information recorded by UK-based researchers. However, some of these reports could have been submitted by inexperienced astronomers. As time passed, modern astronomers, using advanced telescopes, continued to notice the moon blinking. That led to the European Commission agreeing to investigate the phenomenon. The agency's Neliota telescope revealed something unexpected. There are a lot more TLPs than previously thought. Another interesting detail is that such sparkles have been seen in a variety of locations on the Moon's surface, although they are more common in areas like the Aristarchus crater. So what more do experts believe is producing these strange light flashes? Meteors, moonquakes and UFOs are all possibilities, although none have been proved. Random darkening has also been observed on the lunar surface. People have been documenting these unexplained lights since at least 1787. Astrophysicist William Herschel reported sighting three reddish glowing regions on the Moon on April the 19th of that year, which he interpreted as erupting lunar volcanoes. Another report came while circling our natural satellite, Apollo astronauts, notably Michael Collins of Apollo 11, reported seeing exceptionally brilliant spots. Collins reported to the NASA Command Center the day before the lunar landing in 1969, there is an area that is much more lit than the surrounding area. I just saw a flash on the lunar surface. It was a bright little flash right out there near that crater. A space satellite in Spain may be able to provide further information and possibly a solution to the enigma. 
The New Moon Telescope, which is located northeast of Seville in Spain, has two cameras that monitor the lunar surface every night for unusual flashes. When a burst of light is seen through every telescope, the remotely operated device takes pictures and films of the event and sends them to researchers. The event's photo and video sequences will subsequently be analyzed by a group led by Hakan Kayal, professor for space exploration of Julius Maximilians Universitat Würzburg in Germany. When the telescope and the team study the lunar event, they will compare their findings with information from the European Space Center, which keeps a close check on the moon as well. The event can be regarded as confirming whether the same incident was witnessed there, Kyle said. He goes on to say that given the renewed interest in creating a base just on the moon from government space organizations like NASA and private enterprises such as SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, figuring out the source of the unusual flashes makes sense now. While the telescope is now operational, more work is needed to fine-tune this same artificial intelligence, as well as other software that will allow the system to distinguish between real lunar transient phenomena and more mundane events, such as birds or aeroplanes trying to fly at the front of camera systems in Earth's atmosphere. The expertise developed during the building and operating of this telescope could be considered for future space missions to avoid false alarms caused by atmospheric disturbances. Kayal is working on improving the telescope's software, which uses artificial intelligence to differentiate TLP occurrences from passing planes and birds in the area of view. He thinks that the modifications would take a year to complete. But how long does this phenomenon go? Lunar watchers as far back as 2,000 years ago described bursts of lightning on the moon that lasted anywhere between minutes to an hour before dissipating. Although meteorites reaching the moon can cause quick flashes of light, many TLP events linger for hours. Flashes of light could be caused by electrical charges from the solar radiation striking the lunar surface. However, these events would vanish fast, unlike certain TLP events documented throughout history. Movements on the lunar surface could also be a factor in these occurrences. Meteorites colliding with the moon produce bright flashes, which is the easiest explanation for this event. Another factor is lunar outgassing. Outgassing simply refers to the leakage of gas from the interior of the moon which can be triggered by a variety of processes. Our planet responds in a similar way to how the Moon's gravity generates tides on the Earth. Because the Earth is 81 times heavier than the Moon, it has a stronger gravitational attraction. Tidal pressures can elevate the lunar surface by up to 49 inches and fracture lunar rocks as a result of this. The Moon's surface transports gases from within, allowing them to emerge from the clouds that reflect the sunlight. However, because planes, satellites and atmospheric effects, including such light pillars and halos, which are generated when light reflects and is reflected back through ice crystals within the atmosphere, can sometimes be seen from Earth's telescopes. The Moon blinking can be perplexing, and it only adds to the mystery. These flashes have arrived at the most inopportune and critical time. There are several practical aspects to explore in addition to studying the beginnings of TLP, because it pertains to sciences and maybe sheds light on the beginnings of the Moon. There's a race to the lunar surface going on today now, but this time it's to stay. Many of the causes of TLP, such as asteroid impacts and tectonic movement, could pose a safety risk to scientists on the surface. Thus, the flashing could help us figure out how often those events occur. Furthermore, the Moon's flashing lights are a functionally graded material target for us. The Moon flashes serve as a testing ground for our detection systems, which could be utilized on future satellite systems to other planets and moons in the solar system. Seismic activity has also been detected on the Moon. 
gases that reflect sunlight may escape from the Moon's interior when the surface shifts. That would explain the glowing phenomena, which can linger for hours, according to Hakan Kayal. Instead of a bright flash, some of these episodes are distinguished by intervals of darkness, implying that an undiscovered phenomenon would be at the action of our planetary neighbour. The US, China and private companies rush to put people on the moon. It's essential to comprehend how these occurrences occur in order to evaluate whether they'll have an impact on human trips to the surface of the moon. Anyone who wishes to develop a lunar colony at some point, Kyle explains, must be conversant with the surrounding characteristics. Even mysteries closest to our own world remain unresolved. It seems, with the help of the new telescopes, the astronomers might soon have a solution to this lunar conundrum that has been unsolved for hundreds of years now. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.